I'm in a good position. Are you going to see yourself? No, I'm not going to see yourself. Do you know any Christians? Yes, of course. They're living very normally in Nigeria. They have been able to say otherwise. You're just making a statement. Right? Yes, that's what I'm saying. The reality is, let me ask you this question. Do you think that Islam teaches that Christians should be killed for Islam teaches that Christians should be killed for Islam? Islam teaches that Christians should be killed for if they leave Islam. Islam. Do you agree with that? Nope. You don't, don't agree with that. Why, why, why are they killing them? Uh, no, 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 I didn't ask that. I didn't ask that. No, 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 no. You can't kill anyone. Wait, wait. So you don't believe in, you don't believe in Sahih al-Bukhari, where it says that a Muslim can be killed for one of three reasons. That he kills unjustly, that he commits adultery, or that he leaves the religion of Islam. You disavow that hadith. You disavow it? Is it Sahih? Yeah, it's Sahih al-Qaeda. Yes, I know. Yes, but answer my question. Is it Sahih? Right. Yes, it's Sahih. It's Sahih al-Qaeda. I want you to answer. Well, I'll come to your question. Answer my question. Do you disavow the hadith? No. 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 There's the problem. Is that you support the killing? You support the call for the killing of the Christians in an Islamic state? The hadith. The intention of the hadith is when it says they leave Islam, what 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 hadith can you say? In Sahih Al Bukhari, when it says that a Muslim can be killed for one of three reasons: that they murder unjustly, that they commit adultery. Or that they leave the religion of Islam. That they leave the religion of Islam with the intention of coming back and mourning the Muslims. Right. Wait, 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 one second. One second. Like, I, 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 this, 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 this is what you said, but that hadith that's in question doesn't say that. There's no condition in the hadith that we're talking about that says if they've got the intention of coming back and harming Muslims. You just made that up. And unfortunately, I have a degree in religious studies. I know, I know what you had to say, and I know, I know you just made that. Well, that's what, that's show me. That's not what show, show me. Show me. You, you, one second. You, you just made, made a claim. claim. I, I, you just made a claim, and now, now it is my right to challenge you to justify that claim. claim. So, so what I'm asking you to do, what I'm asking you to do. It's show me where in the hadith, hadith we're talking about, about it says if they have the intention of coming back to Islam, please, please show me that. Well, look, I did not make any claims. First of all, that is incorrect. I answered on, on, on the claims that you made. made. You, you made, made the claim that, that Sahih al-Bukhari says, says that, that if a Muslim leaves Islam, 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 Right, right, so, so I, I made a claim. claim. One, one second, one second, one second. Let, let, let's have, have a conversation, conversation not talk about one. You, you have made a counter claim, claim right, to, to my claim. claim. You, you did not dispute my claim. claim. You did not dispute the Hadith's existence or what it said. You, you then added, added words that I am now disputing, and I am now challenging you to, to demonstrate where in the Hadith, hadith says, says what you say. say. Because, because I know it doesn't. I know you just made that up. I know that's Takiyah. I know you literally just lied. Either out of ignorance, because someone filled your head with nonsense, or deliberately, because you literally want to tell a lie. But, but I, I know, know that the Hadith, hadith doesn't, doesn't say that. that. Do you, Do you know, know why? why? Because, because for six years I've debated that, that very Hadith in this part. part. Never, Never once has any, any Muslim said what you said or showed what you just claimed. claimed. So, so show me. me. If you're telling the truth, show well, me. Well, unfortunately, brother, I'm a 17-year-old. I'm 17 year old and coming here, and I don't have the knowledge. I'm not a scholar like you, and I'm still having a proper argument against you. You're, you're not, not look, you're saying, saying that you studied religion, religion and you, you, you had the bachelor's in religion and whatnot. I'm, I'm coming, coming here based off of the knowledge that, that my parents taught me. Imagine, this is the knowledge of a 17 year old boy that's not studied anything, anything and, and you're still, still struggling, struggling to come up with a credible argument, argument and you're not being able to, to shut me up right now, make me walk away and make me admit that I'm wrong. Okay. And this is me, and I have one of the here that I do not have the knowledge that he has, absolutely. That's why I cannot make a proper breakout argument against him, because I don't have the knowledge that he has, but I'm still making a credible argument against him. Wrong. Can I reply? So, so as, as a 17 year old who yeah. doesn't have the knowledge and he's literally just gone off what his parents said, I would, I would encourage you to have a little more humility. humility. Because, because I got, I've got, got a degree, degree in this topic, topic. I've debated this topic with, with your Muslim, Muslim scholars, scholars. Right? right? I've, I've debated shakes on this topic, I've debated some of your heroes here in the park on this topic. And none of them ever have said what you said. You have made up 
because, because your, your parents, parents made it up to you. you. And, and the, the reality is, that just claiming that you're making a credible argument isn't the exam, isn't, it doesn't mean that you are making a credible argument. The credible argument, if you want to make a credible argument right now, what you need to do is this. You need to pull out either a hadith that says what you said, or a tafsir on a hadith that says what you said. But what you can't do is just say it and leave it out there as if somehow it's proven just because you said it. Yeah, but what you said right now is double standards. Right. How many people have some credible sources when you're the first person that stated the hadith and you've shown no credible sources? Where's your source? I can ask you the same question. It's only fair, yes or no? Yes. Okay, then pull out the hadith. Okay, that's fine. So what do we do? No, 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 no. We're going to pull out the hadith. We're going to pull out the hadith. One second. You don't get. One second. You don't get to dictate this conversation. You have asked me to show evidence of a claim that you did not dispute. In your counterclaim, you verified the fact that my claim is true. That in Islam, Islam it teaches the killing of a hostage. When, when, when because, because you then went, went on to add commentary, commentary not, not, you didn't dispute the claim, claim that a hostage should be killed. killed. You, you just, just tried to add on your own, own tafsir to that claim. claim. Now, now okay, let's, let's pull it up one second. One second. You are refusing to pull up the tafsir. I'm pulling it up. You pull it up. You're pulling up the hadith. You pull it up. Let me pull it up. Yeah. Right. There it is. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what we're looking for. Can, Can you, you help find it? Right. I found the tafsir on the hadith. Okay. Or, 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 or I found the tafsir on the hostess. What's the website? Islam QA, which is a Salafi website. So I found the tafsir on the Lord of the hostess. Now let me find the hadith. Wait, can I see the tafsir first? One, One second. second. Right, I think I found it. Bear with us. Possibly. No. John Paul, John Paul, is it? Paul, John Paul, John Paul the Pop. There is. You got it. Thank you very much. So here's the here's the hadith. Right. Well, it's it's not exactly the one I quoted, but it's one to the same effect. Yeah. So this is a Muslim website, Sunnah.com. Right. Ibn Abbas said. The messenger of Allah said, whoever changes his religion, kill him. Great Sahi, Sahi, Sunan an Nisai. Okay, and the okay. Where's the tafsir? right. So, so we've established that the hadiths do say that, haven't we? Yes, we have. Great. Now let's look at the tasfiyah. And let's see if the tasfiyah on apostasy laws says the same as you. Okay. Right, so this is from Islam QA, some of the rulings on uh, apostasy and apostates. Okay. So, praise be to Allah, firstly, the Muslims should not incline more towards one scholarly opinion rather than another, but just because it is in accordance with his whims and desires or his reasoning, Rather, he accept the ruling based on the evidence of the Quran and the Sunnah. Do you agree with that principle? Yes, absolutely. Okay. 
essential to put the text and the rulings of the Sharia before all else. Do you agree with that principle? First of all, back Apostasy, Rida, and going out of Islam are things that may be done in the heart, on the tongue, or in one's actions. In one's actions is very yes. important. Apostasy may take place in the heart, such as disbelieving in Allah or believing there is another creator alongside Allah, or hating Allah or his messenger. So this is the definition of apostasy. Or the apostasy, uh, apostasy may take the form of outward physical, physical actions, actions yes. such as prostrating to an idol, mistreating the mushaf, or not praying. The apostate, the murtad, is worse than one who is kafir in the first place. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay, thank you. And Sheikh Al Asim Ibn Taymiyyah said, refuting the pantheistic belief of the Batinis. I don't know what a Batinis is. Neither do I, it's not important. It is well known that the Kafatatas are better than these Batinis the what? because the, what? the latter are apostates from Islam or the worst type of apostates. The apostate is worse than one who is Kafir and the first in the first place in many aspects. Now let's try and see if we can just find a ruling about the killing. Can I read this? Not, yeah, yeah. not every Muslim who falls into Kufr is a Kafir and an apostate. There Correct, so it wouldn't apply. Yes. Right, exactly. but that's not what we're debating. We're debating what happens to apostates, okay, let's find that not then. what happens to non-apostates. Let's find that then. So you're jumping on something that doesn't support your okay. case. Okay. Bear with us. Let's see. Where's the thirdly bit? Reason for the pressure overwhelms the Muslim. So in these in these first instances, we've 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 seen. We've seen that in the first instances, yeah. uh, on, on this tasfir on apostasy laws, they haven't said what you've said, and have they? they? And, and, they right? have, and they haven't said right? to kill them, and they haven't confirmed the claims that Are you denying them. that an apostate should be killed? I'm denying that they should be killed if they have not made action against Islam. Here it states... But it doesn't say... So, here, no, no, here it states... So, one second. The kufr, which is leaving the religion of Islam, could be done in the heart, the tongue, or with the action. Correct. They, so, so should the, so my, tafsir, my claim was sir, yes. continue, my claim was that if said person that has left Islam has made an action against Muslims, then they should be killed. And the action there is war or intending harm against the Muslims. Except that's then not what the scholar killed. says. The so scholar hasn't it, said that. And it hasn't. No, said you're, you're now giving tasfir on tasfir. You're literally giving tasfir as to, you're literally making it up as you go along. The tasfir actually says that if someone apostatizes in their heart, bearing in mind we are talking about apostasy laws, which includes the killing of apostates, that if they apostatize in their heart or in their tongue, like mistreating a mushaf, do you believe that if, if a, a Muslim, Muslim mistreats, mistreats a mushaf, mushaf of the, of the Quran, Quran, they, they should, should be executed? executed. No. no. So, so you're disagreeing, disagreeing with, with your scholar? scholar. What, what is an apost what is, what does the apostasy law say that should happen to an apostate? What, 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 what I'm asking you, what, what is, is the apostasy law? law? What is the apostasy law, Ahmed? What is the apostasy law? I told you, I came here. No, no. We, we showed you a hadith that said, if anyone leaves, leaves the religion of Islam, kill them. Do you, Do you agree, agree with that hadith? hadith? Yes, I agree with that hadith. Is it to leave the religion of Islam to abuse the mushaf of the Quran? Yes, it is. What, what should happen, happen to those people? people? They should be repentant, and they should be repentant. And if they, if they don't? They should live in peace with the Muslims. Even if they're abusing the Quran. If they live in peace with the Muslims, then they should be Is it living in peace with the Muslims to abuse the Quran? As I stated, if you accept the Muslims, I do not have You don't. You're literally lying. You're literally not lying. You're repeating what your parents told you. Your parents are lying. Based on the knowledge that I have in my 70 years. You haven't learned enough. Yes, absolutely. Which is why I'm trying to track myself for the conversation. You are. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Bro, can I ask you a question? I'm I'm the, uh, I'm I'm right. I'm right. It was, it was really, really nice of you to have a civil conversation, and I do genuinely appreciate it. So I'd like to give you a gift. Do you have a Bible? I'd like to give you one of Just to show that whatever our differences are, I don't know. No issue with you as a person. Yes, I'd like to give you a gift. I, I appreciate, I really do, um, like, I appreciate the gesture, but like, such a kind of reject all. Why? Why? No, 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 it's kind, kind of group thing, thing where you just, just do what is based, and based on honor culture. culture. It is it's not, not helping you learn. A man, man should pursue knowledge, knowledge, should he not? Absolutely. Right, and knowledge exists outside of Islamic books, doesn't it? 
we'll look uh, we believe that the Bible and the Quran go hand in hand, but we believe that all time. How do you know if you've never read the Bible? Bible. No, because I have read the Bible. But who? From, from who? who? So, 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 so I, I assure you, the Bible and the Quran don't have hand hand. And you would know that if you're actually reading it. Well, well, you, so so that no, no, that's, that's an accusation. accusation. Where's, Where's your evidence? Yes, yes, it's an accusation. Where's your evidence? The Quran makes an accusation. Sorry, the Quran actually even doesn't make that accusation. You can't show me a single verse where the Quran makes that accusation. Not one. The Quran does not make that accusation. Correct. The Quran does not make that accusation. You cannot show me a single verse. You cannot show me a single verse in the Quran where the Quran accuses the Torah and the Angel of being changed. Not one. Why would the Quran accuse the Torah and the Bible being changed? It doesn't. It doesn't. Ahmed, you're not listening. No, Ahmed, you're not listening. Listen carefully to what I'm saying. The Quran never makes that accusation. Yes, ever. Show, Show me some of us. I said it doesn't. Right. right. So, so then, then therefore, your, your statement, statement about, about him making the accusation is false. You're not going to listen to yourself. There's visual proof. Right. There's several Bibles that say different things. There are several Qurans that say different things. No, there's no. Yes. You look at the house, the wash, the door. They're not the same. There's no several Qurans. Yes, there are. Show me the proof. Do you know what you are? You want proof. I'll show you proof. I'll show you proof. And this, bro, is why. Okay. Let me give you a, 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 a proof. proof. Okay. okay. So, so this, this is Daniel Alan Brubaker. Okay. He is a, an academic that, that had access to some of the earliest copies of the Quran. Quran. Okay. 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 There's, there's eight, eight very old copies of the Quran, full and complete copies. Okay. okay. And he, he did a study of those Qurans and compared them to the 1924 Hass version of the Quran. Okay. 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 And, and he noted differences. It's got an entire channel, channel on it on YouTube. YouTube. It's called Quranic, Quranic Texture. I think it's called Quranic, Quranic Various. Right? right. Here's, here's, here's his, his book for the, the popular man. man. The popular man's, man's book on that topic. topic. And here's, here's an example. example. Uh, I, believe I believe this is figure two illustration. Figure two illustration, figure two illustration the location of a correction. Example one, one compared with the Azhar approved Mushaf, Mushaf.com Quran, which is based upon the 1952 Cairo edition. And here you've got an insert of a word that doesn't appear in the earliest copies of your Quran. It appears in a version from 1952. So you have corrections of your earliest copies of the Quran in other texts. texts. You, you have been misled, and this, this is, is why you should think, think this, this is why you should be willing to read the Bible, because, because you've been misled into thinking that something that is true, something that is true is actually false. false. There are multiple Qurans. And, and this correction, correction that they have put here is on what? Right. So, so, so it's, it's a correction in the 1952 edition, okay? okay. Uh, corrected, corrected some of the errors, errors in the 1924 Cairo edition. So, so this, this is one edition of the Quran correcting another edition of the Quran of the Hafs. So, so they're both Hafs Kirat. Okay. Right? The Hafs Kirat was, was the one selected, selected in 1924 for Egyptian syllabus. Okay, and then in 1952, the Egyptians published another. Uh, uh, edition that, that corrected, corrected the 1924 edition. edition. Okay, now I have a question. Yeah, go on. So, what, what language, language is the Quran written in Arabic? Arabic. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Quran is written in the Arabic, Arabic language. language. Yes. Yes. The Quran dictates the Arabic language. The Arabic language, the Arabic language is based upon the Quran. The Quran. Yes, yes, but the word missing is still a word missing. missing. The proper, the, how can you say it's a word missing? Because it's inserted. But the, uh, you, you, who's inserted? Based, based on what? The Egyptian editors in 1952 inserted, inserted it. Well, they've inserted it based, based off of like, like, no uh, like, like, prior knowledge. They just inserted, inserted it. it. But it, it wasn't, wasn't in the 1924 version. version. The Arab language, the Arab language, you, you, is dictated by the Quran. You haven't got the point. The Arab language has been 
you have before, before Islam. Okay, yes. But, but the, 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 the proper, proper Arabic, Arabic language is spoken in the way that the Quran uh, came down. down. You're answering a different point, point to the one that's being presented. presented. No, no, no. One yes. Is, when the originator of something creates something, it is automatically right the way it is. Any changes prior to that, that means it is just... There's no changes prior. The changes occur afterwards. You just said the Egyptian. Yes. No, no, I'm not saying that. No, 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 no. no. Correct. Ahmed, listen carefully. Okay. I'm not saying that. Uh, yeah, the yeah, Dr. Dr. Daniel, Daniel Brubaker is saying that, that. And, and he's, he's showing, he's showing, he's showing this is an illustration of a correction from the Azar approved Mushaf Mushaf.com. In other words, that's an Islamic website. And, and what it is showing is that, that in 1924, you had a different Quran published than you did from 1952. <laughs> you stated to the same point, time and time, time again. Yeah, yeah Christians, Christians years and years, years ago brought 26 different Qurans. Christians, yeah. Christians. Yeah. 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 How do we read it? You said different things. Yes. You said it yourself. Christians brought 26 different Qurans. Correct. Yes, so how do we read it? It was Muslims who published. The Quran. The one that made the Quran. Quran. So, so the, the, these Qurans that are published in the 1952 edition and the 1924 edition were both published by Muslims. They were published by Christians. But all the Christian did is come along and know the difference between the text. And who's the one that made this specific book right here? Dr. Daniel Brubaker. Of course, Daniel. What's wrong with that? Are you saying Christians can't talk about the Quran? Absolutely, they can. But when you say the proper things, then you can. But if you're insinuating wrong things, then you cannot. Let me give you another example. Can I say one last thing? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and it's not because I think I'm wrong. Okay. Right, right now, since I think the proper word is my word against yours. No, it's your word, word against I, 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 I believe in what I'm saying. And, and the, the originator of the, 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 the Arab language is the Lord. And the Lord wrote down the Quran, and the Quran is the Lord of the Arab language. And it hasn't been preserved. How is it observed? I'll give you an example. So, for example, right, in um, BNF Arabi 32.8b, which is how they, 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 the academics give manuscripts names. Every, every ancient academic, every ancient manuscript gets a name. That's the name of this text here. And part of the codex, Parisino Petropolitanus, which compare, comp from, comprises BNF Arabi 32.8a, and 32AB, as well as other folios that exist today in the National Library of Russia and St. Petersburg. So you can actually go away and see this yourself. Okay. Right? And what you have here is an insertion that is post-production. In other words, the Quran is being produced, and then someone else has come along and added a word to the Quran. Okay, okay, after, after it, was it was published. published. Well, I, I know nothing about this. I know you don't, but I do. I know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying, saying about this specific incident. incident. Yes, yes, I think about what I'm talking about. I'm saying yeah. this specific incident, I don't, I don't know about this one. Yeah. Yeah. But what, what I'm, I'm telling, telling you is, you cannot make a correction on a language that the originator has got down and it's perfect. No one's talking about a correction on the language. You're talking about a correction to the script. A word was missing. If you go back to his previous argument, he said that there's been a correction here and they've inserted. It says you inserted. Right, let me ask you this question. that was it is a correction. You don't understand. You don't understand. It is called a correction. You don't understand what's being corrected. What's being corrected? Yes. What's being corrected? I'm going to try to tell you. What's being corrected is not the functions of the Arabic language or the grammatical nature of the Arabic language. What's being corrected is a text is being made to conform to a standard. After it was produced. So, in other words, at the time between 1952 and 1924, there were, there were different Qurans from the one that you know. And from some point in the 7th century, the Quran that was in circulation was changed, which means that it, is diff it was for a time different from the one that you know. So in other words, people, they were and are different Qurans. 
and, and it's, it's different, different Qur'an in the manuscripts. We're, we're not talking, talking about Arabic grammar or language. language. We're, we're talking, talking about, about whether all Qur'ans are the same around the world. And I'm, I'm demonstrating to you that that's not true. true. Because, because that, that was a lie that your parents have told you. Fair enough. Here's another example. I still believe myself to be right. This is not me as a But I am respectfully like myself because I don't know anything that I'm not 100% sure. Here's an example of insertions of the name Allah in some multiple different texts. Yeah, alright. Look after yourself. yourself. You, you really, really need, need to open up your mind to the possibility that what you've been told is not actually true. true. And, and I think you should, should at some, some point, point get yourself a gospel as soon as you can and, and have a read of it. Can I just ask a question? Can you just blow out face video? Um, uh, please, please do blow out his face. face. Thank you. Yeah. All right, look after yourself. It was a decent guy. Blur out his face. Um, but this, this idea, this idea that all Qurans are the same and they've never been changed, is a lie, uh, and the evidence is published by people like Dr. Daniel Brubaker. This is academia versus uh, Muslim rhetoric, and the two things don't agree. There's even some like Arab Muslims that agree that there's different Qurans. And um, what's his name? You know Shabir Ali. Yeah, Shabir Ali. He's, yeah. he's on record saying it. Yeah, he's on record saying. Yeah. So this isn't this isn't a claim that we. We, we Christians have just invented. Muslims themselves, are, Muslim scholars themselves are talking about this. So, yeah. Right, if you want to collect your microphones, guys, I am getting a head out. <laughs>